Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at how to use two new components from ClickSend. ClickSend is a business communication tool that offers email sending, SMS sending, one-time passwords, and even faxing services. So uh, I'm going to go to ClickSend. I'm in my dashboard. You'll want to go ahead and create an account with ClickSend.com. Uh, and they give you actually $2 in free credits. I've already used mine, uh, some of mine here, you can see. Um, but this is plenty to get started with uh, practicing and testing your um, SMS uh, messaging and SMS one-time password or two-factor authentication uh, uh, services in your app. Um, you can access your API credentials right up here in, uh, by clicking on this little key. Uh, you'll actually need these. I'm going to leave this open. We're going to need these to set up our components. Let's go back to Adalo really quick. And I've got a uh, just a very, very small little app here uh, that has just two screens, uh, just a home screen and a You're Verified screen. And I've also got one user in here named Johnny Test. And Johnny Test has a phone number uh, with his country code. Um, he's in the U.S., so he's got a 1 in front of his phone number, um, along with the area code and just the number itself. And it's just stored as just a regular number property here, so no formatting or anything like that. So to get started, I'm going to go up here to this plus sign. We'll scroll down to the marketplace. Now, I've already got these components uh, installed, but if you go to the marketplace and just search for SMS, either in the free or the view all category, you'll find this component here, 2FA and notification SMS by click send. All right, so go, uh, go ahead and install that if you haven't already. And then we're, we'll go back to our components list here and I'll just search for SMS. And you'll see that there are actually two uh, components that pop up. And uh, we're really only gonna go over one because the second one, this SMS notifications, is really, really similar to this one, all right? This one's actually a little bit more complicated, so we're gonna be looking at how to use this one. So I'm gonna click and drag this one in here. And if you don't know what one-time passwords are, they're basically those little text messages that you get uh, when you're trying to log into something or trying to perform a, an important action on an account in an app that you're using. And it'll actually send you a text message to your phone with a, with a, a, a code that you then input into the app to let them know that you are who you say you are. All right, so you can actually add these to your app as well using this component and click send. Um, and the way that this works is uh, we've got a, a myriad of different things here. Don't let this overwhelm you. Um, it's really pretty simple. Some of these are optional. Some of them are not. Um, but essentially what's going to happen is uh, we're going to send a phone number. Either the user is going to type it in or we're going to send it uh, to ClickSend automatically. And then ClickSend is going to generate a code and then send that code to the uh, your user's phone. And then your user is going to uh, input that into this component. It's going to uh, change a little bit. Um, so we've got a couple of options here. One is the SMS one-time passwords. We've got some options here for enabling this input field or not, right? We can uh, hide that. Uh, I like to have it hidden, especially if I'm already asking the user, if I've already asked them for their phone number and I already have it saved. Um, so I'm just going to use the logged in user's phone number that I have saved in the database here. You can customize all of the help text and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to erase that help text. I like just having just the button there. I think it's, it looks really nice and clean. Um, and you can you know size that however you want. Um, customize the text. The one thing that I will say is that uh, when you send a, a one-time password, you need to make sure that you have it formatted like this, right? You can change everything else about this message body, but you want to make sure that you have percent %OTP% percent here. And this is where the code is actually going to appear in the text message to the user, okay? Anything else you want to say in the text message, you can say that here. Um, um, just know that there is a, you know, you can only put in 1,224 characters uh, by SMS standard, okay? Um, and uh, basically, yeah, you can customize all of this sort of stuff. You can even even customize, you know, uh, the number of times that they can request a new OTP. Um, when they exceed that limit, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to send them to a different screen? 
Um, you can send an error color, for instance, if their phone number is invalid or whatever. Um, and you can even customize the loading spinner uh, that, that takes place when they actually press this Get OTP button, okay? Uh, so let's look at the next one here. We'll go ahead and close this. Now this Get OTP button, this is, um, uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call this uh, like um, send code or something like that, but you can obviously call this whatever you want. You've got plenty of styling options here for this button, you know, border radius, all that sort of stuff. Um, and you've also got uh, additional actions that you can add to this button click. So if you wanna update something in the database or whatever, um, but the actual sending of the SMS is baked into this button, all right? You don't need to add anything else to it. We don't even have to add anything here if we don't want to, okay? It's gonna do it automatically for us. Now this verify OTP, this is what's going to happen after they click the send code button. And we can preview it by pressing this little toggle here. So you can see that this, this, uh, this interface here is actually what's going to happen after they, are after they have requested the code to be sent to their phone. Um, so we can preview it here in the, in the, uh, in the Adalo editor. Um, and I'm going to leave this as verify, but I think I'm gonna turn off this resend. Maybe I don't want them to be able to resend that. So I'm gonna go down here to this enable resend OTP. And again, I've got styling options here, but I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this off. You can also uh, you know, disallow them to change their mobile number. Now, uh, this is only, even if you have this on, this is only going to appear if you uh, give them the ability to uh, change, uh, uh, only if you let them input their phone number, all right? Uh, if, you, if you have this input phone number field turned off, then you're not gonna see that button there for them to change their phone number, all right? Um, so just, just note that. Um, since I've already got it in the database, I'm just gonna turn this off. I don't even need this. Um, and then the last thing here, uh, this is the most important part, is your API credentials. So you need your username and your API key here. So this is where I'm gonna go to my dashboard. I'm going to copy this value here. We're gonna paste in our username and then we'll also paste in our, uh, our API key here in this field, all right? And uh, this little toggle down here, the change sender ID. So if you've purchased a number from ClickSend, you can put that number in here and it will, your message will come from that number instead of a shared number from ClickSend. So if you have this turned off, then ClickSend is just gonna use a random number that is shared by lots of different uh, apps and, and people. All right, so that, that's kind of a, a nifty little option there. All right, so to make this work, uh, I'm gonna go to this verify OTP and we're just gonna add an action so that if it's successful, then I want it to send us to this, your verified screen, all right? So we'll link to your verified and let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we'll go ahead and click send the code. You can see the little loading spinner there. Let's check Johnny Test's phone here. All right, so it says my password is 580722, so 580722, all right? And you can see that because it was uh, successful, I was verified, all right? So let's go back here and let's just change this. I'll show you 5726, uh-oh, the invalid OTP. So uh, it's really good at verifying, you know, uh, these, these passwords and preventing progression through your app if that's what you want to do. The second component is very, very similar. It just does something different, right? So you've got, um, you can let people put in their phone number. Uh, maybe you want to send an invite to a friend. You want to let them send invites to uh, download your app or something like that. Um, it's the same process. The, the, the component is set up pretty much exactly the same. Um, you just don't have that, that verification aspect of it, right? Um, so they would put in a phone number or you can put it in, you can hide this field. They can send a message uh, to a friend or you can even do it, uh, send it to them without them even knowing that they're pressing this button, right? You can just hide both of these fields and this helper text and just have a button there that they press. 
So uh, really great components here, super easy to set up and use. Um, and that's from ClickSend. Um, again, you can go to their website, create a create an account there, clicksend.com. They have uh, some pretty reasonable pricing on their, their SMS uh, services. And uh, with these two components, it makes it super easy to, to implement SMS notifications or these two-factor authentication passwords that you can send out.